the one, the only, Ben Seal. Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube, Just Daffit from America. I made it to America. I'm here in my parents' home. Um, America's different, I have to tell you. It's not the same thing as Israel. Um, <clears throat> it's nice to be in a big house. I mean, I live in a small apartment in Israel, so it's nice to have a little more room, especially if my kids over here. I will tell you that my flight was a disaster, <laughs> as expected. I mean, flying in economy, five seats, six people, um, four kids, the oldest just turned five. Um, very complicated, not easy at all. Um, kids were sleeping on me, doing different things. It was just, it was very hard to manage. I wasn't managing, but somehow I'm Superman, so figured out how to manage. And let's pick it up from where we left off. Um, so the daf ches today, number eight. We'll talk from the bottom. Um, the last line. Remember tahora in malin osal shari mizrach. If she is tahora, she says she was tahora. So they bring her to shari mizrach. They bring her to the eastern gate. Shari nika nor malin osa. Why do you bring her there? Has some kind. That's where she's standing. The maskinan. Right, she she goes to the base in Agol. The base in Agol Sanhedrin is very right next to Shari Nikanor. Apparently, so top of Chadam Nalav, Maskin and La Machsin and La Kedeli Yago. It's a whole process, really. They brought her, they took her from Sanhedrin, a little bit to Shari Nikanor, back and forth, back and forth, in order she should get exhausted. And when people are exhausted, they don't feel so good. And she'll admit to the truth. The time Rashi and Malazar Omer are based in the time the Messina say them. Messina say Adam Makalum Makam with Jar of Dait and Alam Yaksar Bahen. If Adam come and testify about Dina and Fasha, so someone's Kayev Misa, uh, we want to make sure they're really truthful. So um when they come to testify, we move them from place to place in order to get tired and admit the truth. Shah Mashkin is a soto, therefore there they give the sotas to drink. Bishlam is soto is the save a minakoin as Aisha Lutna Hashem. It says you bring the woman before Hashem. It's all right. Now we don't see. I mean, I'm calling. I'm entire. And the pasuk continues with Nei Hashem. It's all these places you know. You have to be in Shar Nikanor, which is the entrance to the Azar. Like, Yolad is my time. Why does Yolad is? Where in the finding the pasuk Yolad is? She has to bring a korban. She has to stand by Shar Nikanor. My time. Even with Shum Dasi and Rakhim and a korban, a korban ayu, they're stay. Have to stand next to their korban. The korban is brought on the Azar. The Sanya and Kanar Bashal Adam Karav Adam Kain all made Al Gabav. A person can't bring a korban unless he's standing there. Yachin Zavim Zavos Nami. So not on the, the only person now Yolet is not the only person to bring a carbon. A Zav or a Zava. There's Zav Gadola, Zav Gadol, Zava Gadola. I saw three emissions. Um for three consecutive days. After seven days, they bring a carbon. They should also have to stand there. Where's the Nakanami? True. It's also Zav and Zavas also could have been written. But Tanakadami Nayunaka. Usually Yoledis and Zav and Zavas are written together, so it took one of them, but the other one is included. Tanarabana. In Mashkin She Sotos Kaachas. You, you don't do the process together with two different ladies. Kadeshali Halibu Gaspa Khaverta. The Kham say, Tanakama says, because if you do it together, they'll feel comforted by each other and they want to admit to the truth. Rabbi Huda Omer Lomana Shemu says, not for that reason. Oh, I'm gonna cry Osa. So Osa, singular, Levada. That's by yourself. It's a Xerah Sakasa. Tanakama, Aksiv Osa. Tanakama, why didn't he bring it from the pasta? The pasta is pretty specific. It has to be one person. Tanakama, Reb Shimon. The Tanakama's opinion is really the opinion of Reb Shimon, Bar Yochai. The Darish time of the Quran. He famously, in other places in Shas, he's Darish time of the Quran. Meaning, when the pasta says something, he tells you the reason why the Torah, and then based on that, he extrapolates halachas based on that. Matam Kamar, Matam Levada. What's the reason the Torah specifies she has to do it one one by one? Because if you do two at a time, they'll be friendly, they'll be chatting. You know, on on WhatsApp or something, <laughs> and they won't realize the severity of what's going on. They won't admit to the truth. <clears throat> Might be not you. What's the practical difference between the Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shimon? It could be not you. Rotesses, Rotesses. She's trembling, right? If she's trembling, so therefore we're not afraid. She's if you have another woman over there, it's gonna ease her discomfort. It's not gonna ease her discomfort enough sufficiently that she'll be worried. The Gemara says, even if she's trembling, two women were trembling together, we would give them mesot at the same time. 
A separate problem. You don't do mitzvahs in, in bundles. When Psachim talks about this, it's not. The Mishnah says you don't give two sodas to drink at one time. You also don't do the tara with the blood of the mitzora at one time. And Evid, every who wants to stay longer than seven years, you don't pierce his ear, two of them together. If you have a person who died in the middle between two cities, the closer city, you have to, you don't know who killed them on the way. So you have to bring an egg la rufa, basically decapitate a calf. <coughs> uh, we don't do two of them at the same time. You don't do mitzvahs in bundles, because the predominant reason given is because it looks like the mitzvahs are a burden. You want to just get them over with. I'm a rabbi, if you rabbi, look at Hashakanu, Kohen, Echad, Kamishnei, Kohen. If there's one Kohen doing two sotas together or two mitzvahs running together, then it's Chavil, it's Chavil. They can't do it properly, you have to rush. However, if there's two Kohen, so they can do it together. The only problem is, is by sota, they might be Gospel Chavir. So if the Torah says they're trembling, then two of them. We not together, provided it's two Kohanim. That Kohen Echad Ochez Bugat, that one Kohen rips her clothes, he grabs her clothes and rips. It says he, like we learned yesterday, he uncovers her hair, really. The correct explanation he is he unbraids her hair. I only know that he disrobes her hair, disrobes her hair, he takes it out of whatever bonnet was in or ponytail. And makes it bare. Gufa mina. How do you know her body? He also takes off her clothes. Talmud Lomer ha isha with a hey, the entire woman. Only ala rosha. Sorry, ha isha. Only ala rosha. Gufa mina. Sorry, yeah. Talmud Lomer ha isha. Imke matam alomer uparas rosha. Rosha. So why does the pasuk continue and say he uncovers her hair? It just said ha isha, right? Um, it says he para rosh ha isha. He could just said para ha isha. And we know not only her body, but also her hair. Malami Chakon so Sarah Sara. So according to the art school, this means that basically, no, there's two things over here by her, by her hair. First, you take off her shaitel. And then if she has a braid underneath, then you want to take you take out the braid. Now, most women don't have braids underneath their shaitels. So to me, as I explained to you, Ben Sion on Dav Zion, I don't believe that a woman is high up to cover her hair. And it's the, the whole basis for a woman covering her hair is derived from this pasuk of Paras Rosh Aisha, by the fact that the Torah goes out of its way to say Paras Rosh, Rosh, Rosh Aisha, so therefore it tells you Paras is a lashon of Gidl Sar, of growing your hair long, letting your hair down. Tell you that it's not, it would just say Aisha, you just roll the Isha, so I would say maybe she has a shaito on, and maybe she takes her clothes off in her shaito. No, Paras Rosh Aisha, para makes her hair grow long, that means women don't have to cover their hair. All you have to do is take out the braid in her hair. And uncover her hair because, in a sense, that's disrobing her hair because it looks nice when it's put together. When it's let down, it doesn't look as nice usually. Sometimes it does look nicer, you curl it and things like that. Um, Rabbi says in the mission that if if her breast looked nice, he wouldn't do it because they would be attracted to her. The member of Rabbi Huda is worried about people. Having lewd thoughts, Rabbanan lachayshi, and Rabbanan are not worried about that. By Ibcha Shamina, we have the exact opposite somewhere else. The Sani, how Ishma Chasma, so Peregacham, the Fonav, Isha, Shnei Prokim, Echan, the Fonav, Echan, the Lacharet, Nisha Kula Erva. When it comes to, when it comes to killing someone, a person, a man or a woman who's Chayav Misa, and before you kill them, you embarrass them by embarrassing, you take off their clothes. So according to, <clears throat> Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Huda says that a man, even though you take off all his clothes, you leave on covering in the front. The genitals are covered. And a woman, you cover from the front and back. Now, why do you cover from the front and back? So, Arshkel says because you can see the front, the, the, her front gen, her genitals from the back. Um, I don't know if that's true, really. If you're looking from the back, I don't think you can see her genitals. Maybe the Gemara is saying that her uh, her tokas <laughs> is an Arab also, at least regarding this. It's attractive. So therefore, you cover it. <laughs> argue fundamentally. They say a man, you completely disrobe him. His genitals are exposed. Isha, she is completely clothed when you kill her. I'm a Rava. 
So Rabbi answers, let's be gonna answer we have to answer first for Yehuda and for the Rabbana. So first let's answer for Yehuda. I'm a Rabbi Hakha Taimai. Shema takes him based in Zakois, Vyskru Apirhe Gahuna. The reason is by Asota, she might actually be acquitted. And the picture going to see her naked, they're gonna run after her to the hotel. Hasa Mahamistalka. However, when she's dying, she's dead. They're not gonna run after her. Hey, they that's good about her nice. Maybe they see a beautiful woman, they'll go running after a different one. The tradition is that Yitzhar Hara only really takes hold of a person that, about the person, the woman that he saw, if he sees a different woman. And he's not going to run after another woman. He might be attracted to more women. He might want to do other things. So we'll talk about it, even with Ben about the problem over here, about men seeing other women. It's an issue seemingly in the Torah. The Yerah B'chayar of his daughter, you shouldn't, the Gemara Nebota says, you shouldn't see nakedness. You shouldn't see the erva, and you, you'll you come to tomb of Alayla. You'll come to masturbate, or mean, maybe it means to, you'll have a wet dream at night. We'll talk about this, whether you're allowed to look at naked women. It's a very interesting question over here. It's for it's, it's front and center on this stuff. So I'm going to write, who did you do I'm a rabbi. The Rebbe, the Rebbe, the Kash. The Rebbe, the Rebbe, the Kash. We still have a question in the Rabbanan sheet. The Rabbanan say by by skila when you kill a person, by a woman, a man, a woman, you you don't take her any off her, uh, you don't take any of her clothes off. Here, they seemingly say that they do. Only the Rebbe was concerned. It's the opposite. So. Ella, I'm a rabbi. Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Lo Kasha Kedushan. We answer Rabbi Huda very nicely. Right, she's going to die by skila. Here, she's not dying. The Rabbanon, the Rabbanon, now we Lo Kasha. The top of Chedam and Beis. Halacha time and mind. Mishum minister in Nevasro calling Asher. The reason over here is because we want all the other women to see. We'll discuss in a second whether just women see it or men see it. Also, we want her to see, to see her naked, her disgrace naked, and they'll learn from this not to be a soda. Hasam ein lecha yisra gadol mizeh. However, the biggest degradation when you're killing the woman is that she's dying, right? She's dying. The point is to um, embarrass embarrass this woman um, so that other woman will be embarrassed. And when you kill her, it's to embarrass her. The biggest embarrassment is killing her. This role being her is not so important. Do two things that are embarrassing. Let's embarrass her as much as possible. I'm a crab. How to react to Moka? Torah commands you to love your fellow man or your fellow woman. Broral Amisa Yafa included in that. Even when you kill someone, even at that point, you should still have love for the person and try to do it in the least degrading way. Lay with the Rav Nachman tonight. Say the opinion of Nachman that says how to react to Moka extends to killing somebody. It's Machodes Tanoim. Rav Bana worried about it. Rav Yudah is not worried about it. Lo, the kula yama is the Rav Nachman. Everyone holds Rav Nachman. Ha kama kama tuki. Mar sarav bizioni adif le fei mitzara. The gufe. No, we try to minimize as much as possible. Right. The question is, which one is more embarrassing to a person? So according to um, according to Rav Yudah, you take our clothes off because bizioni, right? The fact she's naked, right? Is more embarrassing. You have to embarrass her as much as possible. You just don't completely embarrass her. So therefore, the fact that she'll be a little less painful, right? It's more painful when your naked body hits the ground when you do skila as opposed when they push you off the roof or your clothed body. So that's more significant to the person than the tsar, the body, the gufe. Marsar Sar the gufe all the play. The rabbin hold no. When you actually get thrown off, uh, when you get thrown naked, right? It hurts you. Ah, the flame, the flame of vision. Sorry, so Rehuda holds. Sorry, the goofy. Ah, the flame, the flame of vision. And therefore, Rehuda says that the main thing you do is you take off the clothes. We don't go for the bizayon, which is less embarrassing. The Rabbanon holds. No, the bizayon. Ah, if therefore, um, the Rabbanon hold. I'm sorry. The Rabbanon say bizayon. Ah, the flame, the flame of Zara. Um, the Rabbanon say you don't take off the clothes. Sorry, Rehuda is the first opinion. Bizioni, therefore you take off the clothes. And the, the Rabbanon say no, the, the the tsar of the goof is more important, and therefore you don't take off her clothes because you want her to be clothed. Then when it'll pad her fall a little bit. 
If she was wearing white clothes, you put on black clothes. Sometimes women look nicer in black clothes, especially if they're overweight. It's it's slimming. So if she's wearing nice black clothes, we make her wear ugly, used clothes. How you all that cleans off? If she's wearing jewelry, pshita, you take it off. Pshita, hashta nebuli min avila. Here, you're making her dress in poor clothing. How do we buy it? Of course, you're going to take off her expensive gold jewelry. Her 18 karat gold necklace. Of course, you're going to take it out. Her diamond rings. Mao the same abahani is to be zayon tfei. These things are more embarrassing. Someone who takes the clothes and wears shoes, he looks really funny. So she's wearing ugly clothes and she's wearing jewelry. It looks even worse. Come on, no, we want to embarrass her as much as possible. Maybe Chevel brings an Egyptian rope and ties it around. Right, he rips over here, but she's still wearing the dress on top. He wants to. He's gonna. We're gonna see. He wants to tie the rope to keep her dress on. What about? It says it has to use an Egyptian rope, which is a very strong rope. To tie her dress from the top above her breast. Mauji Sota. Does it have to be specifically a very strong Egyptian rope? Is the reason Mauji Akim Sota? Mishum Shalo Yishmi Yavadam and all that. Her her clothes shouldn't fall off. Ubatzil Tzalkata and Ami Sagi could use a belt also. Adilma Mishum Damar Mar. He chagrul ubatzil Tzal Lefika Chon Mevi Chevel Amitzra Goshal Lamal Medadam. Ba'akim. She right. She wore a belt. I don't know exactly what belt they're talking about over here. She wore a robe with a belt. Um, therefore, a coin brings a mitzvah. He brings a very strong robe, right, which is more embarrassing. And therefore, specifically, it's a punishment, so therefore, it has to be a very strong Egyptian robe. And therefore, it's makim. Only to tell you, we have a bright The reason is just simply that it shouldn't. Fall down, so therefore, any type of belt or any type of robe would be okay. Colorosa le rose ba yura, anyone who wants to see can see. Hagufa kasha, I have a question. Amar colorosa le rose ba roa, alma loshna gavi loshna nashi. Anyone who wants to see includes men also, men can go watch us also. A spectacle, national TV. Another tiny, colonashi mutaros le rosa. And then it goes and says, all the women are allowed to see nashim and nashim lo. It implies only women, not men. Amar abai, tergama nashim, tergama nashim. The first part of the of the Mishnah meant to say anyone wants to see. That's talking about women. Women can see, men can't see. I'm like Rava. How call Rosa the Rosa Roa? Kasani. It says anyone who wants to see. It probably includes men also. El Amar Rava. Call Rosa the Rosa Roa. Loshna Gavri Loshna Nashi. Anyone who wants to see is up to them. They could look. The Nashim Chayavas the Rosa. Women are obligated, according to Rava. Rava is saying the women are obligated to watch her. Shenem Marbani Vasher Call Nashim Lotzena Kiz Zim Tachena. Women should see and they should learn Musar. They should learn. That see the degradation of the sota, they should not act like her ways. Now, according to Rav, it comes out that men are allowed to look at the woman. The question is, how can they look at the woman? You're not allowed to look at a naked woman. We'll talk about that, seemingly or not. I'm going to tell you, maybe you are. <laughs> Even with Ben Sion coming up after this year. The Mishnah says, Ben Midah Shah the Modid, Ba Modid Lo. The way a person acts, that's the way HaKadosh Baruch Hu acts back to him. He kished as Atma Vera. She put on perfumes, she made herself look nice. For the adulterer, Hamakam Nivla, right? When she becomes a sota, we make her look disgusting. He gil says Atzma, she revealed herself. La Veira, Hamakam Gila Ala. Hakadosh Baruch Hu lets everyone see it. It's a public display. Biyerach Itchila, La Veira Itchila, Vacha Chabetin, right? The Ficha Tak Tilake, Hayerach Itchila, Vacha Chabetin, Shar Kol Guf Lo Pala, right? When she's with the adulterer, right? First, uh, there's penetration through. Top of her thigh, the genitals, and then the seed, the semen goes into her stomach, or at least into her womb. So, therefore, that's the order of her death. If she's actually guilty, first her yarech, first her thigh, it blows up, and then her stomach, and then once they blow up, the whole body is dead. Whereas, the of Yosef, even though the exact measure that Hashem instituted for punishment is gone, according to the, to the to the mount that Hakadosh Baruch Hu mida for mida, we'll see in a second. That's not bottled. Amar of Yosef, Chayin Tani Rav Chiyah, Yom Shachar Beis Amidish Avish of Bala Sanhedrin, Ara Mises Lo Bottle. Even though the Sanhedrin is no longer extant in order to punish people, the Arba Mises are not bottled. How bottled? If Sanhedrin is bottled, then they're bottled. What do you mean they are bottled? We don't do, we don't do skill straight hair We don't do those things. El Din Arba Mises Lo Bottle, Minish Yis Chayav Skila. If you actually Chayav Skila, there's no base on Mikdash, no base in. To actually make you chayav, to punish you, what happens to you? 
Oh no, fell min agag. Oh chayyad der sasa. He falls off from a roof, jumps off. Or chayyad der sasa. Or an animal tramples him. It's just chayyad shreifa. Anyone is chayyad shreifa. Oh no, from his lake. Burns in a fire. It's pretty scary. People that are consumed in a fire. I'm not saying definitely, but it's a possibility. They're chayyad for one of the dal misas based on. Oh no, chash makish or a snake bites. Mission is chav hariga. Anyone is chayyad to be beheaded. On Israel amalchus. Either is given over to the to the king. You know, king that you know, kills people, you know, there are certain kingdoms in the world where, you know, you do offenses against the religion, you get killed. Um, a list in Bain Allah, or bandits come and behead him. Omish is chayev chanika, someone is chayev strangulation. Otovea benar, he'll drown in the river. Omish besor he'll die emphysema, and I'll be able to breathe. Tanya, okay, we'll stop over here. The war is going to continue about Mida Kanek and Mida. It's a continuation until tomorrow's up. That's the conclusion of today's share. Stay tuned for Enoch Ben Sion. I think a really important Enoch Ben Sion, almost as important as what I said on Dav Zion in Israel. Dav Zion was in Israel. Dav Ches is in America. When I talk about the day of the Heter or the Isser or the Heter of men to look at naked ladies coming out from this page, from this stuff in the Gemara, Enoch with Ben Sion, a very important one. You're going to want to hear. It's good for Americans to hear this. Enoch Ben Sion coming up next.